New details in the search for a missing teenager. Searchers hope that billboards, flyers, and now playing cards will help get the word out about Brittany Drexel's case. Brittany went missing nearly a year ago from a Myrtle Beach hotel while on spring break. And WNBF News reporter Laura Thomas joins us live in Myrtle Beach tonight. Laura, tell us more about these playing cards. Yeah, Dana, a news conference wrapped up just a little while ago here at the Myrtle Beach Police Substation announcing the release of these cards. Now on these cards, dozens of cases of missing persons as well as unsolved cases are from around the state. And right here on the two of diamonds, missing teen Brittany Drexel. We're very thankful and grateful that they did think of Brittany. Brittany's friends and family gathered Friday at an announcement for a deck of playing cards featuring missing persons and unsolved cases in the state. Playing cards which people use and users you're constantly seeing a victim's, a victim's family, a victim's faces. The South Carolina Crime Stoppers Council put together a list of 52 cases highlighting Drexel as well as others like Crystal Souls missing since 2005. People might see it and say, hey, I know that girl, and come forward and say, I know where she's at. This is the second edition of the cards, and the Crime Stoppers Council says they have gotten several breaks in cases before. They sell the cards to inmates. In the prison system, there's a lot of information, and people know things. Criminals know criminals, and hearsay, and something might help. It's really good to keep her face out there. Drexel's family is in town for a candlelight vigil this weekend. Just for Brittany to know that I at least came down here and did what I had to do. And they say this deck of cards can only help in their search for Brittany. They may lead to um, you know, lead to more information or, um, on the investigations of our cases. Something might help spark, hey, I think that might be that girl that so-and-so was talking about. They say that as the one-year mark of her disappearance approaches, they still haven't given up. I'm hoping. That's all we can do is hope. And on it, this deck of playing cards, each card has a different missing persons case on it. And if you do have a tip about any of these cases here in this playing card deck, you're asked to call 888-CRIME-SC, and you can remain anonymous. Reporting live at the Myrtle Beach substation, Laura Thomas, WMBF News.